If you found your way to this video, chances are you love all kinds of cars, and you're interested in everything about them, including the amazing records that have been made with them. They say that the machine is only as good as the person behind the wheel, but having an amazing machine sure helps. Most expensive car, the biggest car jump, the longest drift, fastest quarter miles, and other amazing records in today's video. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. The greatest and the biggest car jump of all time. This is probably one of the most insane stunts of all time, especially when you look at the car that was designed for the stunt. Nothing screams lightweight and aerodynamic more than a heavy 70s jet-powered Lincoln Continental fueled by pressurized hydrogen peroxide and nitrogen. And if that wasn't enough, there were some small stabilizer wings that were welded to each door skin. Yeah, those are going to hold. The event's original driver, Ken Carter, didn't like the conditions and the jump was put off several times until the promoters got tired of this and hired another driver named Kenny Powers who was a stuntman without fear. The object was to jump the Lincoln one mile across the St. Lawrence River from Canada to the USA, gaining speed from 1,400-foot takeoff road and hitting an 85-foot high ramp which should have launched the car across the river. However, things didn't go as planned. Powers leaves the starting line and nears the jump. The bumpy road cracks the fiberglass body and bounces the car violently around. Kenny, unable to keep his foot on the gas pedal from bouncing around in the car, barely leaves the ramp at 180 miles per hour, short of its projected 270 miles per hour. The flight only lasted 9 seconds, as the Lincoln traveled only 506 feet, with the body and those neat stubby wings shearing off the movement it leaves the ramp. Only one of the two parachutes opens and the car slams into the river. Kenny Powers ends up with a broken back, several broken ribs, and fractured wrist. After five years of planning and a million dollars, the stunt is a total failure. Still, no one has ever attempted such a crazy stunt, for obvious reasons, other than that Lincolns don't fly well. Parking Everyone hates parallel parking, especially when you're not good at it in the first place. It's a real challenge. So why not make a sport of it? Well, there happens to be a Guinness record for such things, and a guy named Alastair Moffat of the UK attempted this record, but not just doing it as you normally would. Nope. Instead, he gets in the little Mini Cooper and drives backward towards the car and pulls off an incredible 360-degree parallel parking job that you would only see here or in the movies. Longest Drift in the World Everyone knows what drifting is. Turn right to go left, as Doc explained to McQueen in the animated film Cars. But how far is the longest drift? How about one where the drift is so long that the car has to be refueled several times by another car, drifting next to it, just like a mid-air jet fighter refuel? It's kind of fun to watch humans do human tricks, and this is one for the record. Or maybe it's to sell more BMWs. The BMW M5 is of course on wet pavement to save the tires and somehow drifts 230 plus miles. Someone says it's a record, but the wet pavement and all, we'll let you decide. Wow, you're amazing! Fastest drift in the world. Drifting is really cool to watch, and the faster the car is moving, the more exciting it is. And what better car to do some intense drifting in than a Nissan GTR? This drift attempt took place at Fujihara International Airport in the United Arab Emirates. The specially tuned MY16 Nissan GTR, piloted by Masato Kawabata, the Japanese Drift Champion Series set the new world record entering a 30-degree drift at the hair-raising speed of 304.96 kilometers per hour. That's 189 miles an hour for you non-European folks. It sure is an awesome sight seeing those back tires getting grilled and the right front tire barely on the pavement. Range Rover Climbing Ever wanted to see a Range Rover SUV climb up a 45-degree angle mountain? Well, here's your chance. The vehicle is a Range Rover Sport Feb, and it's running what is called the Dragon Challenge at Heaven's Gate on Tiananmen Mountain, China. The rover climbed up 999 steps, and seeing the driver at that angle really gets your heart beating, especially if you have any idea what would happen on the way back down the mountain had the vehicle lost its traction. And by the way, not all the stairs are straight, and there are 99 turns on the way up. This rover is the first hybrid SUV to climb the stairs. Hennessy Venom F5 – Fastest Car in the World 
Over the years, there have been a lot of amazing supercars that claim that they're the fastest cars in the world. From the Bugatti Veyron Supersport and Chiron, the McLaren F1, and the Keneseg Agera RS. However, the current fastest car in the world is the Hennessy Venom F5, which boasts a top speed of 301 miles per hour in a car that weighs only 2,950 and has a 600 horsepower, 7.4 liter twin turbo V8. And the car can reportedly go from 0 to 249 miles per hour in less than 30 seconds. Most Miles on Odometer Cars get a bad rap for breaking down and costing a lot of money. To fix. We've all heard about certain models being the worst. But what about a car that has never broken down and has over 3 million miles on the odometer? This 1966 Volvo is owned by a 77-year-old teacher who says it's as good as new and never has broken down. The key could be the fact that he takes care of the machine, as you should, with frequent oil changes in the engine and transmission and gives the car its normal tune-ups. Now, that is what you get when you follow the maintenance schedule. Fastest Quarter Miles If you've never seen a top fuel dragster in person, then you have no idea what you are missing. These machines are capable of over 11,000 horsepower and 8,000 foot-pounds of torque. And when one of these things leaves the starting line, it's like 8.0 on the Richter scale. In February of 2018, Tony Schmacher, who drives the Army Top Fuel Dragster, piloted his machine to a 3.667 1,000-foot time and was traveling at 336.57 miles per hour. It is the fastest official speed in Top Fuel history. Top Fuel Tony Schumacher. But the fastest unofficial record for the quarter mile is held by a rocket car called Vanishing Point piloted by Sammy Miller in 1984, in which he clocked the 1,320 feet in 3.58 seconds at 386.26 miles per hour. <laughs> Fastest Side Wheelie in a Car Okay, there are some car stunts out there that will really blow your mind, and this is definitely one of those. On an airport runway in Finland, stunt driver Vesa Kivamaki raced into the record books on two wheels at a blinding speed of 115.742 miles per hour, 186.269 kilometers per hour. That's a Guinness World Record. How the tires manage to hold up on their sidewalls without blowing out is amazing. Not to mention that one little tiny overcorrection by the driver would have seen this car wipe out and roll several times. Well done, Vesa. Largest Production Car Engine Capacity With all these cool facts and crazy stunts and fast cars, you might be wondering what the biggest production engine is. Well, until something bigger and badder comes along, the largest engine you can get in a production vehicle is Dodge's 8.4-liter Viper V10 engine. And it's a beautiful piece of machinery that produces 640 horsepower bone stock. Slap it in a Dodge Viper and you'll do 0 to 60 in 2.96 seconds on the way to a top speed of 205 miles per hour. However, if you want to talk about the largest displacement in an engine, that belongs to the record-breaking Fiat S86, which had a four-cylinder engine that was a 28.5-liter engine. Now we move on to the most expensive car ever made. We'll give you a second to make a guess. Time's up. If some of you answered Rolls-Royce, then you would be correct. However, have you ever heard of a Rolls costing $13 million? This car is a one-off coupe that the automaker had been developing for a customer since 2013. It is an ultra-rare Rolls-Royce swept tail, with inspiration coming from the 1920s and 1930 Rolls classics. Most expensive car ever sold. Rare cars can really fetch big dollars, and most of you probably know one of the rarest cars ever made, the 1963 Ferrari GTL. Only 36 of these cars were made, and in the early months of 2018, one of these cars sold for $70 million. The guy who picked it up? A German collector by the name of David McNeil, who is the founder of WeatherTech, the maker of car floor mats. These GTOs are considered the biggest trophies in the car collecting world for their rarity, power, beauty, and its phenomenal success on the racetrack. Car pulls a plane. 
Car manufacturers love to pull all kinds of stunts. But this next vehicle shows off its stuff by pulling an A380 Airbus passenger jet. Now, before you think, big deal, the tractors that pull planes around the airport weigh up to 54 tons and have a drawbar pull of 75,000 foot-pounds. With that said, it's pretty darn amazing that a Porsche Cayenne was able to even move, let alone pull a double-deck, wide-body, four-engine, 277-ton jet airliner. But it did, and it grabbed a world record by doing it. Largest Synchronized Car Dance So, here's a really weird record that you might not have heard of before. The Largest Synchronized Car Dance. That's right. Get a whole fleet of Nissan patrols together, 180 of them to be exact, and move together within a formation. Then, break the strange record while driving in a synchronized routine to take on the shape of a giant desert falcon. And this wasn't the first time Nissan did this, but the third time. EMC and Lotus F1 Sometimes, even racing teams go in over their heads when putting together a stunt, and this one is no exception. Have you ever seen an 18-wheeler jump a ramp? How about over an F1 car? Things are looking pretty serious as the truck and the car are cruising along looking like they're about ready to race. But suddenly, ramp. The truck flies over the F1 car, who swerves under the truck, and the truck lands, in probably not so good condition, considering the debris flying off the truck. Still, it's a pretty gutsy stunt, and we hope the driver had a change of shorts after that, and that it only took one take. <laughs> Biggest Car Loop in the World If you were lucky enough to be a kid when Hot Wheels were the big thing, then you probably have fond memories of the cool loop-the-loop -loop tracks that made it seem like your little toy cars were defying gravity. Well, someone decided to see if this could be done in real life as crazy as that sounds. And not only this, but make it the highest loop. The specially designed loop looks really cool, and there's no messing around. Just get enough speed and have a go at it. This proves that almost anything is possible with enough momentum. Want to see it again? Stomach and throat? Check. Oldest car in the world with all these cool stunts and talk of cars, one might wonder what the oldest car in the world is. Well, the oldest still-functioning car is called the La Marquise, which is a steam-powered car which was manufactured by De Dion Bouton et Trapado in France in the year 1884. This car went on to win the first automobile race, which was on a 19-mile course, and it moved along at 26 miles per hour. Pretty darn fast for its time. Most people in a car You know there are laws to how many people can ride in a car? Usually, one seatbelt per person. But someone out there was wondering how many people might fit in a smart car. These cars can barely fit one person, but some Australians called the Climb Fit Team, of which there are 18 members, all crammed themselves into this car and probably played a few rounds of Twister beforehand. Let's hope everyone was well showered and had good deodorant, and that there was no improper touching. The smallest roadworthy car. You probably think that smart cars are small. Well, maybe not after that last clip, but there are actually some really small cars out there. Well, this is not a production car and it will not win in a smart car accident at all. Still, there's almost nothing more hilarious than seeing some grown guy cruising around in the tiniest roadworthy car. It's powered by a tiny quad engine and was all handmade. And yeah, it's in the Guinness World Records longest car in the world. We've probably touched on everything here, from biggest to smallest, fastest and most expensive. There seems to be just one more left to cover. The longest car. Well, of course, we know that limos are pretty long cars, and the longest one out there was designed by J. R. Berg of Burbank, California, USA. It measures 100 feet long and has 26 wheels and totally redefines the definition of a stretch limo. This thing even has a swimming pool with a diving board a king-sized waterbed, and if that doesn't make your jaw drop, there's a helicopter landing pad at the rear. 